welcome or welcome back to being passionate learner i'm dr padmapani tribhuvan in this video we are going to overview popular libraries of python which are used for ml python is a versatile programming language widely used in a field of machine learning its simplicity readability and a vast ecosystem of libraries make it an ideal choice for machine learning tasks The first library which we are going to see is the NumPy. NumPy is a fundamental library for numerical computing in Python. It provides support for a large multi-dimensional arrays and matrices along with the mathematical functions. Now let's look at a code snippet in Python that uses NumPy to create an array and perform an element-wise square operation. The first statement is import NumPy as np which is going to import the numpy library and aliases it as a np for convenience arr is equals to np dot array in parenthesis in square bracket 1 2 3 4 5 creates an one dimensional numpy array with the elements 1 2 3 4 and 5 forming operation on the array for that we have declared another variable arr underscore squared is equals to arr exponential 2 it is going to square each element in the array using exponential operator then we are printing the resulting array after the square operation when you will run this code it will output like this which is an array 1 4 9 16 25 where each element has been squared i have used visual studio to run this code snippet let's move to another library which is pandas pandas is a powerful library for a data manipulation and analysis it introduces two key data structures series and data frame we will not go into detail of a series and data frames for now we will just create one data frame using pandas you can consider data frame as a data in a tabular form now let's see one code snippet this code snippet uses the pandas library to create a data frame and then displays it now let's try to understand the code first we are importing pandas library import pandas as a pd pd is alias for convenience this code is going to create a pandas data frame using a python dictionary here the dictionary name is data in this data frame we have two columns name and age the keys of the dictionary becomes column names so here we have two keys name and age and the values which are two different list first list is alice bob charlie and second list is 25 30 35 then we are creating a data frame using create data frame function from pandas library print df is going to print the data frame to the console when you run this code it will output like this this is a tabular representation of the data frame where each row represents individual and to represent an individual we have used two features or columns name and age let's move to the third library matplotlib matplotlib is a comprehensive 2d plotting library for python it is used for creating static animated and interactive visualizations this code snippet utilizes matplot library to create a simple plot let's try to understand this code first we are importing matplotlib.pyplot as plt which is going to import pyplot module from the matplot library and aliases it as a plt here we are defining two list x and y x containing 1 2 3 4 5 and y containing 2 4 6 8 10 10 then we are plotting data by using plt.plot in parenthesis x y 
it is going to create a line plot using the data in the x and y list by using plt.x label and plt.y label we are going to add labels to x axis and y axis respectively then we are adding title to the plot by using plt.title we have given title as a simple plot plt.show displays the plot on the screen when you will run this code it will generate and display a simple line plot like this with the specified simple plot title access labels and data points now let's look at scikit learn library this is a machine learning library for data analysis and modeling it provides a wide range of algorithms for classification regression clustering etc it offers a tool for model selection evaluation and data preprocessing this code snippet demonstrates the use of scikit learn to perform linear regression first we are importing trend test split from sklearn dot model selection and then we are importing linear regression from sklearn dot linear model then we are importing numpy as np then we are creating sample data for independent variable x and dependent variable y the reshape function is a used to convert x into a column vector then we are splitting the data into training and testing sets 80% of data is used for training and 20% of the data is used for testing then we are creating a linear regression model and we are training it using the training data set then we are using the train model to make predictions on the testing data then we are printing the predicted values for the testing data when you will run this code it will output the predictions made by the linear regression model now let us summarize whatever we have discussed till now python is a powerful language for machine learning numpy is used for numerical operations pandas for data manipulation matplotlib for data visualization and scikit learn for machine learning algorithms with this we have reached to end of this video thank you for watching this video till end don't forget to like share subscribe and comment see you in my next video till then being passionate learner keep learning thank you